One of the three activities that you'll do when unlocking the printmaking center is using jelly plates. So here's where I have to be completely honest. This is actually my first time using jelly plates. Like right now, making this video, first time ever. Um, but they're really cool. So we do have a good amount of these, a class set, but we wanna take really good care of them because they're valuable. Each one comes with this protective plastic sheet on both sides. Don't lose those. They're easy to lose, especially the ones that are really clean and clear. Um, so make sure that you know where you're setting them, take good care of them, and always return them back to your jelly plate before you put it away. And this is gonna keep the jelly plate from getting damaged. Okay, for this, we're also using a paintbrush. We're gonna be using that round tool that we use to push down our paper to make a print. And we're actually gonna use acrylic paints with jelly plates. So um, you can pick a couple colors for this activity. I picked two, pink and red, and I'm gonna use the paintbrush to apply those to the jelly plate. So on the jelly plate, you're actually creating an image or a texture that you will then copy and transfer to your paper. So there's a lot of things you can use to do that. You can use tin foil. You can use um, scraping tools to kind of create patterns and texture. You can use saran wrap. You can use different found objects like leaves, flowers, um, things in nature really look great. You can also use bubble wrap. So who doesn't love bubble wrap? That's what I decided to use for my first practice run with jelly plates. So for your activity to unlock the printmaking center, um, there's going to be bubble wrap up in the printmaking center cabinet. There's the bubble wrap that I'm using. But there's also going to be other things like tin foil that you can use too on the jelly plate. So I'm just going to use this tool to kind of pressure, um, put pressure on the bubble wrap to create my texture on the jelly plate. Now I got to tell you, in hindsight, I probably would have put a little bit more pressure on the plate. I did it really lightly again because that's what you do with the tool when you're printmaking. Um, however, on the jelly plate, I probably would have done it more lightly. This is where I want to go nice and gently. I can't even express to you how gently I'm using this tool. It's hard to see, but I'm applying very little pressure when I rub it onto my paper. And there it is. So you can kind of see the bubbles that it made, the bubble wrap texture. I'd want to try it a couple more times. I'd also like to experiment with the other items that I described earlier. Um, but like I said, there's a lot you can do with jelly prints, jelly plate prints. So give it a try. Add it to your Unlocking the Printmaking Center. And then maybe it'll be something you use for one of your Explore and Experiment projects. All right, have fun, guys. Good luck.